Coming up next, we're gonna talk about a hybrid car, and you're never gonna guess who made it. It's the same company that makes lawnmower engines. So I'm at the Briggs & Stratton uh, Museum here in Milwaukee, uh, where Briggs & Stratton is headquartered. And this is the hybrid car that was built in the late 70s, early 80s, and it's really a fascinating piece of automotive history. This was strictly a one-off concept designed to be a technology demonstrator. It was put together using a Ford Pinto front end and Volkswagen Scirocco doors, along with custom panels created by Brooke Stevens, who lived in Milwaukee and was also a designer of the 60s era Jeeps. Literally sucked. If you squint, you can kind of see the elements of a 1980s L-body Dodge Charger. The idea behind this unusual hybrid was to showcase a more efficient way to travel and in style. In theory, the electric motor and its instant torque would be used to get the car up to speed, then the gasoline engine would be used to maintain highway speeds. The top speed was just over 60 miles an hour, but in 1980, the U.S. national speed limit was 55, so in theory, this car could easily run within the limits of the law. Briggs & Stratton built this six-wheeler concept, giving the 12 Globe Union 6-volt batteries their own driven axle. With this additional 72-volt system at the rear, the company's parallel hybrid was capable of 68 miles an hour on its combined power, and they hired Richard Petty to prove it. The 6-volt lead-acid batteries would also give Briggs & Stratton's 3,200-pound hybrid a pure electric range of at least 45 miles and giving it a combined mileage of around 30 miles per gallon. Think about it. Doesn't seem like a lot, but the majority of hybrids we test can only go 20 miles on the more powerful and lighter batteries. It also featured disc brakes at the front to handle the mass, Recaro interior, and had the unmistakable sound of an air-cooled industrial flat tube. All the people who worked on a car have since retired, but current employee Mike Dorna remembers his dad working on it when he was at Briggs & Stratton. So my dad worked for Briggs & Stratton from about 1961 till 1984, um, and those were the roaring years for Briggs & Stratton, internal combustion engines. Um, so he worked on the development of a number of different engines, and one of them was our first venture into twin cylinder uh, internal combustion engines, and that was the opposed twin. I believe they were made in a 16 horsepower and an 18 horsepower range, and then uh, towards the end of that life cycle, I think we did a 20 horse. I'm not positive about that though. Um, so this hybrid was uh, something that my dad worked on a little bit um, in the 70s, and this is powered by one of those uh, opposed twin uh, internal combustion engines linked to a generator that produces electricity. There's a bank of batteries in the back that store that energy, that electrical energy, and drive the car uh, way ahead of its time for, for that, that time period in history, automotive history. I think we were one of the first hybrids ever. Um, 17 years before the Prius. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> so, there you go, Prius. We, we inspired Honda. Yeah. And I'm sure we did. Um, but it was really, you know, it was a really cool thing. Uh, I remember him coming home and, t and telling me a little bit about what he did. Uh, I, I, even as a kid, I really didn't understand what he did for a living, but I, I knew he worked at Briggs and Stratton, and everybody knew what Briggs and Stratton was, especially in this area. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know exactly what he did on this car, but he did he did something, and I, I know he worked on the development of the engines. The car toured the country taken to events in a special trailer, sharing with the public what Briggs & Stratton could do. The last time it was on the road was in March of 2020, when on the streets of California, Jay Leno and Briggs & Stratton engineering technician achieved 60 miles an hour. Keep in mind that this was just an 18 horsepower air-cooled twin-cylinder Briggs engine under the hood. Now, were you surprised that, that we called, that we even knew about this thing? An electric motor is connected to the engine, which then connects to a four-speed manual transmission, sending power to the first set of rear wheels. The second set was just there to handle the extra weight of the batteries. The Briggs & Stratton hybrid concept cost a quarter million dollars to build, and when it was unveiled in 1980, there was no clear path forward for the vehicle. The company had no plans to put it into production. It's the only one of its kind and displays a shocking, get it? Shocking, electric, shocking. 
shocking amount of hybrid technology that was far ahead of its time. Today, this one-time star sits quietly in the museum located at the company's headquarters in Milwaukee along with Briggs & Stratton's other historical accomplishments. Thanks for watching and learning more about this uh, one-of-a-kind uh, prototype. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll see you later.